Governor Paul is now calling on Congress to step up as even more migrants arrive in Denver. He says states and cities cannot bear the burden alone, even as our state has stepped up to help provide intake services, processing, and transportation to thousands of new arrivals. Alan Janay at the McNichols building downtown. Alan, mostly Venezuelan migrants are being housed there, and it is full. It is full. Behind me, the McNichols building full. You know, uh, if you add it all up, we have an intake center, two shelters, another emergency overflow shelter, partner shelters, plus also hotels. Yet not enough. Over 3,650 migrants have arrived since this all began. Now, 70% say they'd rather be somewhere else. And yet each day, more stay in Denver than leave. Underground at the bus terminal in Union Station, migrants stood waiting to depart. We found Milagros Flores heading out. Hey, Orlando, Florida. Like many of the migrants, her journey started months ago. Hey, I'm here from Venezuela. Hey, I left Venezuela October 3rd. She is one of those now being sent on from Denver Bye. as the state helps. I think it's a high percentage of folks who want to go somewhere else. But not enough, says Mayor Hancock's chief of staff. Downtown migrants are spending nights at the McNichols building and seeking refuge at the Webb building during the day. The state's help does add to the city's efforts. Do you need more from the state? I think uh, it's fair to say that we need more from everybody. Including nonprofits, but they too are facing the pressure of the sudden surge, says the Rose Community Foundation, Sarah Kurz. Have nonprofits expressed to you, yeah, we'd like to do something, but we can't afford it? Yeah, I mean, I think this kind of influx of population so quickly is something that most nonprofits are not staffed for. The foundation has opened a fund for donations to help organizations staff up. Many of the migrants will stay and do have job skills. So many of the folks coming, I think, are actually pretty highly educated. Um, you know, they were working for oil and gas companies or things that just have collapsed. Their journeys to Denver were not easy. However, I was able to survive everything that happened to me. But there's more difficulty ahead for those staying and those moving on. 144 migrants showed up just overnight last night. Far fewer than that left today. That's a math problem. Now, the nonprofits are telling me that there are short term needs like housing, food, and warm clothing, and long term needs, again, housing, but also legal help for people who are seeking asylum. And there are far too few immigration attorneys in this area to handle this load. In Denver, I'm Alan Janay, covering Colorado First.